get your shit together. It's not the Jew's fault, it's not the women's fault, it's not the Muslim's fault, and it's not the Mexican's fault, okay? Oh, look, it's a Mamrie Hart holiday. Let's celebrate it. Because why wait around for the next holiday when you could drink every day? You just need a reason. Hi there, I'm Ru, and you're watching Girl Talk Fridays. Yes, I am wearing my sexy librarian glasses. <laughs> why? To see better. Isn't that hot? <laughs> Eyeball aid. So today is the 25th of November, otherwise known as Black Friday, where people go crazy and civilization just stops working because people want good deals. Literally trampling each other to death to save money. Hmm. And that got me to wondering, why does Black Friday exist? Well, apparently it's because the Americans, the U.S. Americans, not the whole continent, because it's not just one country. The U.S. Americans have this festive little holiday where they, you know, get together and say thanks, which is nice. You know, thanking for having a great life, wonderful loved ones, everyone being healthy. Because, like, hundreds of years ago, their ancestors raped and murdered and pillaged and almost made extinct an entire native population. It's a nice holiday. <laughs> If you just ignore that origin story. Anyways, they decided that, you know, why not after stuffing our faces and, you know, giving thanks afterwards, the day after, we're just gonna have to run off and jog off and work out off those extra calories by being insane and try to murder each other over great deals. Apparently. And it caught on. It really did. I remember when it started catching on in Norway. And now it's a thing. YouTube-worthy, mass-trampling sort of thing. Hmm. <sighs> So in light of all those festive activities, one of my favorite YouTubers decided, hey, let's not do Black Friday, okay? Let's not leave our houses and get trampled to death over great deals. Instead, since we had so much abundance of giving thanks yesterday, let's tell some assholes that we're not thankful for them while getting drunk. It's an alcohol holiday. Drinking wine with a straw. Classy as always. Now, who am I not thankful for? Well, there's Donald Trump and all the hateful racist people who voted for him. And then there's Hillary Clinton. It wasn't your turn, okay? We all wanted to feel the burn. The only reasonable man to have ever appeared on TV saying I am an American politician was Bernie Sanders. And you came and pooped all over it and took it away with all of your establishment bullshit. And now, we get to look forward to having Donald Trump as the next US president. A man who shouldn't be trusted to be a president of a local fan club of eccentric stamp collectors, let alone a country. And you gave him nukes. Nukes! The fuck? Now, in the great scheme of things compared to the other two previously mentioned, it doesn't really seem that bad, but I gotta tell you, I still do not like door-to-door -door salespeople. I have never sat in my three-day-old jammies, my bird's nest bun, and my germaphobe self thinking, you know what would be nice today? To have some stranger invade my space, forcing me to unexpectedly interact with human beings while they try to sell me some stuff? That has never happened. Ever. And you know what? It's even worse when it's children. First of all, why would anyone send children to sell things to strangers? I could be a serial killer for all you know, and you're sending your children to my door to bother me at my house? Seriously? And then there's the hateful people. I would just like to ask, what the fuck are you people doing? Come on now, get your shit together. It's not the Jews' fault, it's not the women's fault, it's not the Muslims' fault, and it's not the Mexicans' fault, okay? That your life sucks? That's just what happens when you're an asshole, okay? Karma. When you're an asshole, your life sucks. That's just how it works. Stop being such whiny-ass bitches. And don't even get me started on the animal abusers. Testing on animals, scaring them, hurting them, eating them. What the fuck? Let me just put it like this, nice and simple. If we ever have to dwindle our numbers to, you know, save the world from overpopulation and climate change, etc., <laughs> I volunteer those humans. Simple as. Because they deserve it. Who are you not thankful for? Do you leave it in the comments below. And if you agree with me with any of them, Leave that too, you know. Leave a like as well if you like the video, and uh, you know, subscribe. Because that's a cool thing to do as well. Let the sexy librarian glasses convince you. <laughs>